Welcome to PaxX TV, your destination for passenger experience news. In this episode, we head over to Hamburg, Germany, where our correspondent, Marianne Simpson, was given an advanced tour of the ZAL Tech Center, the most state-of-the-art civil aviation research facility in the world. Runway Girl Network has been following this story since they broke ground on the site. Now that the veil is being lifted, we want to take you inside. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, GoGo. Elevate the in-flight experience with GoGo 2KU. 2KU delivers new opportunities for your customers. Industry-leading speeds allow more in-flight, including video streaming and live TV, while enabling apps that enhance customer service. And 2KU's unique antenna provides superior global performance keeping passengers connected wherever they travel. Find out more about the best performing IFC solution in flight today. GoGo, -Go, the catalyst for advancing aviation. Today is a very, very important day for aviation in Germany, in Northern Europe, and in fact the entire world. It's the VIP grand opening of this magnificent building that I'm standing in the ZAL Tech Center, which is Hamburg's state-of-the-art new center for applied aeronautical research. This 25,000 square meter facility has been about 100 million euros and several years in the making. It's a collaborative effort that brings together all the key players in Hamburg's aviation industry under one roof. We have something like 25 partners um, research, doing research here together, uh, sharing innovations, sharing uh, ideas and being faster and uh, to the market, cheaper to the market, with better ideas than, than the others uh, without this building. We have actually nine shareholders. Um, the city of Hamburg uh, is one of the major ones. Um, then we have Airbus, Lufthansa Technik as a main OEMs uh, here in Hamburg. Then we have the supply chain uh, with Deal, Zodiac, Parker, and with respect to cabin, mainly Deal and Zodiac, bringing new ideas uh, for the cabin into this building. And then last but not least, we have the universities here in Hamburg. Actually, we have four universities um, working in the aerospace field, and they will all move into this building here. And we are now here in Hangar A, and in Hangar A we are focusing on two research topics. One is cabin research um, for innovative cabin concepts, for new ideas for passenger comfort, for example, with new lighting concepts for uh, to reduce the, the jet lag for the passengers for a higher comfort um, environment in the cabin. The second topic here in this hangar is uh, aerospace production. Mm -hmm. And here we're focusing on 3D printing technologies, um, on cobots, um, so men and uh, machines working together in the same environment, um, so to improve the production process of, uh, of the aircraft. On the other side of the building, we get to check out a very cool space that feels a little bit like something out of Apollo 13. This room is capable of a lot of things. Um, this is the ZAL Acoustics Lab. And what you see here is a fuselage demonstrator that can simulate noise of and vibrations of an engine in flight. We can simulate up to 140 decibels um, here in this lab. And inside, you can uh, do research um, with passengers sitting in this tube, how this noise and vibration ends up in the cabin, how you can improve the passenger experience here on board, for example, for uh, better uh, um, sound systems mm -hmm. and um, a better understanding of what the pilot says, what the cabin attendant says. So all this kind of research can be done in here in this tube, in this room. Lots of companies working in aviation tend to keep their intellectual property close under lock and key, and there will always be cases where that's a competitive necessity. But those working together at ZAO will be encouraged to collaborate and share in order to speed innovation. But the benefit is coming from sharing ideas, from bringing things together, from bringing new ideas from the outside world, even from other branches like the gaming industry, um, the windmilling industry, into the aerospace industry. So this sharing of information, of ideas, um, that's one of the key elements. And we will promote that with new formats, for example, radar, so-called radar groups, research slam activities, um, to support that exchange of information and to be creative together. Thanks, Marianne. In other news, the beleaguered Bombardier C-Series program in Canada has been given a boost, with Air Canada signing a letter of intent for up to 75 C-Series aircraft. Now, the Five Abreast C-Series is a passenger-pleasing aircraft with giant overhead bins for your luggage and seats that are at least 18.5 inches wide and even wider for middle seat occupants. 
But Air Canada has been on an aircraft densification program of late and squeezing a lot of extra seats into some of its aircraft. So we're paying close attention to how these C-Series aircraft are configured and whether their praiseworthy PAX-X remains praiseworthy after a configuration is decided. Last but not least, a reminder to viewers that March is Women's History Month with airlines celebrating the occasion around the world with flights crewed entirely by women, including in the cockpit. But while these visuals are important, especially for young girls considering a career in aviation, the sad fact is that gender parity on the flight deck has generally not improved in 30 years. Check out Runway Girl Network to learn about some of the reasons why and what is being done to improve gender parity in aviation right now. That's all for PaxX TV. Join us again next time for all the latest news on the passenger experience. It's a great day, I'm feeling good. Oh, the possibilities of what I